The significance of the protocol relates on membrane to nuclear signaling and does not directly affect the genome, like it is the case with induced pluripotent stem cells. The non teratogenic nature of blood derived pluripotent stem cells is the main advantage of the technique, making it suitable for safe clinical application in various fields of regenerative medicine. Demonstrating the procedure is Dr. Anne Catherine Short, project leader and Oksana Grinako, a lab assistant in my laboratory. To isolate PBMNCs, add 25 milliliters of 1 to 1 blood diluted with PBS to 10 milliliters of density gradient media and centrifuge the mixture at 300 times G for 30 minutes. Isolate the interphase layer between the plasma and the density gradient media by pipetting. Wash the isolated cells with 5 milliliters of sterile PBS and centrifuge at 300 times G for 10 minutes. After repeating the procedure twice, count the number of cells using a counting chamber. Add 6 by 10 to the 6 mononuclear cells to a 15 milliliter tube, then perform antibody cross-linking by adding human GPI-linked membrane protein-specific antibody to the cells in PBS with 1% BSA and incubating for 30 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. After the cross-linking, replace incubation medium with Iscove's modified Dolbeco's medium supplemented with 10% FBS. Grow the cells in 15 milliliter polystyrene tubes.